Okay, we're back here inside theCUBE. This is SiliconANGLE's exclusive coverage of OpenStack. This is theCUBE where we go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. And uh, we've got an, uh, one, of, one of our favorite companies that we like these days is Hortonworks, oh mainly because one, they're in Palo Alto. <laughs> Two, they are in the Hadoop space, which we've been covering uh, since Hadoop Summit, uh, second year of Hadoop Summit when, when SiliconANGLE started in Cloudera's office. Um, and you got Cloudera and Horton, which are really the two main guns in the open, open source Hadoop in terms of pure open source, but you guys are a little bit more pure than Cloudera. Uh, Jim Walker, who is the director of product marketing here at Hortonworks, and uh, guys, I'm really impressed. You have an announcement today, so let's get right to the news. So, um, <laughs> Hortonworks is Hadoop, it's open source. The entire team has legacy in open source going back to you know, the, the days of uh, all the way back to JBoss. JBoss yeah. back, and, yeah. and Spring Source and yep. all that stuff. So you guys know a little bit about open source. And here, the success of OpenStack has just been amazing that they really shielded up the hype, yeah. kept the kernel of core dudes together yep. with code, and really is a shining example of success of open source and the, and the continuing drumbeat of our editorial, which is scale out open source wins in this new market of modern infrastructure. So, so give us the news of Hortonworks here at OpenStack. Yeah, first of all, I mean, this is just, this is amazing. I guess, you know, I, I'm kind of new to the whole OpenStack world. I'm just, I'm wild. I, I can't believe there's another space that's as wildly as exciting as Hadoop right now. It's kind of like, I, I, you know, <laughs> this whole other world going on, right? So this is great. Um, you know, so, I, you know, here, what we're doing here is, you know, we feel that Hadoop is just a, a, a really powerful source for adoption of OpenStack, right? We feel that it's kind of the, almost the perfect act, app to help aid adoption of OpenStack. I think, you know, if we look at organizations that way, the way they're using servers, the way that adoption is happening, it's really following the workloads. And Hadoop is really kind of that net new workload that uh, we're finding organizations uh, adopting throughout, you know. And so, you know, if you think about that and start to say, well, how am I going to, you know, implement infrastructure for that, you know, Hadoop makes a whole lot of sense. Now, Hadoop needs the cloud uh, from an agility point of view. You know, if I can spin up clusters, spin clusters down, uh, be able to just uh, be more agile with my Hadoop environments is hugely important for Hadoop. Um, so it's just a, it's a really good fit. So you guys I mean, announced something with Red Hat and Mirandus. Yeah, yeah. So the the announcement really is to to help aid that, right? And so um, you know, working with uh, you know, Mirandus started a project called Project Savannah. Uh, it was a couple weeks ago they they announced that, right? So we've partnered with Red Hat and Mirandus to really, uh, I guess the words are contribute significantly to really build that out. And Savannah is really all about, you know, uh, simplifying management and deployment of Hadoop on OpenStack. Uh, you know, Hadoop's not simple in itself to deploy. Uh, you know, it's from an operations point of view, it's, it's not fully simple. And then you have the complexity of OpenStack as well, so we really want to make it almost push button, right? So taking a, you know, taking a Hadoop cluster, say I want to run an HBase cluster for a test, being able to provision that very quickly via templates or blueprints of what a cluster is, is really what we're kind yeah, of all I mean, after. Well, here, we, right? so I'll just, let, let me just parse through that and I'll just say it. Right. Hadoop is hard to work with. Uh, uh, HBase <laughs> in particular is a lot harder because you got to have the expertise and you got to host it. Where you got DynamoDB on Amazon's ki kicking, out, kicking butt right now. Yeah. And so, and also they got Elastic MapReduce on Amazon. So mm -hmm. you're seeing that people want simplicity. Yeah. And they want choice, mm -hmm. which is kind of like, I'm not saying OpenStack, I mean Hadoop is hard, hard to use, but like, yeah. I mean, for the it, average developer, it's got to get simpler. There's a lot of configurations, John. I'm not going to, I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. There's a lot of configurations when you deploy a cluster and to optimize that for the right performance, right? You, you know, there's a lot of things that you're doing. Yep. So how do I make that push button? Because the infrastructure guy doesn't want to have to worry about all those, you know, the, uh, conf you know, configuring all that. And so, really, that's what Project Savannah I think that is all is, about, and that's, you know, yeah. that's, it's key. I think and it's that, key for adoption. I think that is the key thing, and I tweeted earlier, I said, Hadoop presence at OpenStax and Pre oh, that's the wrong tweet, uh, Hortonworks. <laughs> so, uh, Hadoop is a non-legacy, I want you to comment on this. Hadoop is a non-legacy app, well suited for scale out OpenStack architecture. Still lots of work to do, but opportunity for developers. Um, one, do you agree with that, or you must because yeah, obviously the open source piece, but what is the opportunity for developers? For the, for the developers, I mean, just the combination of the two. I mean, it's, it's the net new workloads that we're having in, in organizations, Sean. I mean, if it's, oh, excuse me. This thing's kind of coming off there. Um, you know, if we think about net new analytics, the, the whole kind of move towards big data. Mobile. I mean, this is, uh, this is uh, they're going, they're kind of moving along in the same path. So, I mean, I think it's, it is the perfect app for OpenStack. I mean, it, it's, like I said, it's, it's driving those workloads, and I think that's where the opportunity is. But you have to simplify it, right? And so yeah. our goal is to really fuel and foster the adoption of Hadoop 
everywhere. It doesn't obviate anything. It's a plus one in what that What do you guys bring right? to the table? Uh, you know, Code? <laughs> Are you guys bringing more resources? You're hiring and going to throw some people at yeah. the OpenStack uh, Summit? You know, I mean, to the to the open yeah, stack yeah, world, open, what yeah, do we open, bring? Yeah, yeah, code. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, this doesn't get done without I didn't a mean lot that. of work. I didn't mean that. We know you guys <laughs> are putting a big dent in the universe on, on Hadoop. You guys are doing amazing work in the Hadoop space, and you yeah. guys are pioneering it and actually getting a lot of. You know, uh, I think you might even be in the lead as far as you know. Dave and I, Dave Vellante and I debate that all the time. We think you have a lead over over Cloudera right now, um, and certainly the, them not being here is um, kind of a diss on Cloudera. Uh, and kudos to you, but specifically to OpenStack, because that's where the enterprise yeah. is going to start to get around that. It's a great go to market for you guys to get in the enterprise through this community. Yeah. And so, I, you know, what are you guys going to bring code. to the OpenStack? Just code? Code, I mean, code and expertise. Um, you know, I mean, like I said, you know, there's the complexities of Hadoop in itself, there's complexities of OpenStack. You know, it's, it's, it's the beauty of the open source world, right? The fastest path to innovation is open source. You know why? Because you can get all the right people in the room to code the right thing. So and, and that's just, you know. Follow up with that, Jeff, because we, we had a conversation a week or so ago, and we were talking really about the innovation, but mm -hmm. now this is kind of the second order of, of um, open source, where you've got kind of an integration of uh, of Hadoop and what it represents in terms of, mm -hmm. of storage and the big data, and then you've got this cloud infrastructure, and so kind of being really intimate with one and, and jumping in with both feet on the second. Yeah. How do you see, you know, kind of a combination, and, and there's yeah, another yeah. one we heard down with the with the networking guys down in San Francisco today, so yeah. now that there are more kind of open source foundation clusters, I don't know if that's the right way to describe it, and how they interact, and how right. is that impacting how you guys view the world and where you spend your time and resources. Yeah, I mean, it goes back to kind of where John was going in terms of the intersection of how these things come together. And if you know, if you look at the three companies that in our release this morning, it's Red Hat, Mirantis, and us, right? So you have Red Hat, who is the leading contributor to OpenStack with the within the Grizzly release, right? So more lines of code than anybody. You have Mirantis, who is definitely or, and one of the leading system integrators within you know the OpenStack world, right? So now you have the guys who built it, you have the guys who implement it, and now you're bringing together the uh, you know the leading contributor to Apache. Hadoop and all the related projects. I mean, anybody could do the math around code counts and committers, and I'm, I'm not going to get into that kind of debate, but I mean, you have the three different groups coming together to actually promote now simplifying Hadoop on OpenStack. It's, it's bringing the right people together. It's, we were talking about this last week. It's just so much, it, it just makes sense. You get all the right people in the room, you're going to be able to get there a lot faster than a proprietary firm, and you right. put the right services and support around that, it's just a really good business model. It's, did you hear the Red Hat thing earlier, the Brian Stevens say, you know, open source is a development no model, not a business model? It is, it's a development model, and if you think about that. I actually and think, I think, I would, awesome. I would, I would say both, I mean, they're it not mutually exclusive. I mean, look at Rackspace. Rackspace's uh, halo effect, they move the ball down the field. Uh, in a matter sure. of three years with OpenStack. I was having customers with Jim Curry, who will be on tomorrow, and Lou Mormon, the president at the time of that division when they had cloud sites. Um, they could have owned this thing on their own. They could have completely bogarted this community yeah. and tried to kind of throw a little bit of a, uh, of a red herring community out there and, and, and take it in-house, because mm -hmm. they needed to build. What OpenStack did is, to me is an example of the business model open source. They said, you know what, we're going to be completely transparent. We're going to put and contribute resources and the tide will rise all the boats, them being the biggest boat in the harbor. And that yeah, worked, look yeah. at them. And they're just they're significantly more scalable, they're leveraging all the work of the people in the community, and, and that's, and John, that's and a home th run. Th that last word is the key, right? So there's open source, anybody can push code out in GitHub. That's open source, okay? I mean, building a community around that yeah. and incenting that community to yeah. actually contribute and take part in it and yeah. for the common good of everybody, that's not easy to do and it takes... They walk the talk. They, they walk the talk. They walk the key. talk and they, they brought code to the table and that's the ethos here in the OpenStack community. Bring some code to the table and yeah. you're in. Well, it's it like cover the charge. question though, Everyone seems, it's been a consistent theme, everyone we've talked to over the last couple of days is, wow, look at the size of this community, wow, look at how fast this has grown, wow, look at, by, by luck or happenstance, this, the, the governance that's been put in place to enable this just mm -hmm. really rapid adoption and yep. growth. So from your point of view, and, and, and with more experience in another community, what is the magic pixie dust? What, what is it that's really given this thing the juice to grow and be as successful as it's been? Passion, dude, look around. Look around you, everybody here is super passionate about this stuff. Every session I've been to, I don't know if it's because the rooms aren't big enough, but there's people <laughs> waiting outside to go and actually watch this yeah, stuff. I packed. mean, developers are passionate. I mean, I'm an ex-developer, yeah. I was a developer for eight, yeah. I mean, we eight are, we years, are, and it's like, 
You, you, when you're into it, you're into it. Yeah. You know? Uh, Jim, our expression with the cube is we go to the events to extract the signal from the noise. Well, there's too much signal here. We need another <laughs> cube. There's not a lot of noise, and David Floyd and I were talking about that. Really? Is there's not a lot of vendor hype here. You get the marketing, some yeah. PR going on. You have some releases going out. The booths are modest. It's really all meat and potatoes. It's yeah. all code, user base, customers, and, and they, you know, uh, and, the and guy from OpenStack put up that slide earlier. He's like, here's the platform, you know? It's great software, an uh, innovative ecosystem, and successful users. And that's the holy trinity of open source. Uh, and it's they're demonstrating it, so. Um, it's, 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 a, it's a nuance that, that really can't be lost and it's super important, John. And if you're going to build a company around open source, and you know, Hortonworks, we are all about that. I mean, it's really about incenting that community. It's about being friendly to developer. I mean, we think every day about not being overly marketed to people because it's, you can't, the, the community is absolutely important to us. I mean, that we are the we are a huge part of that community. And yeah, you guys are very transparent. I was very critical of Hortonworks when you guys launched out of Yahoo because, you know, as the time, Cloudera was like the shining star. Yeah. And, you know, it looked like kind of a head fake. What's going on Yahoo? And, and uh, you know, within six months, it was very clear that you guys were putting all the cards on the table, great group of guys, and and you stayed true. And, 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 and mm -hmm. kudos to even MapR, right? So MapR, again, another great company in the open source space, yeah. they never really head faked anybody. They're like, hey, you know what? We're enterprise, we're going to check all the boxes, and we're just not them. They're, we're right. enterprise, <laughs> we'll use Hadoop. And they stayed on their course. So I think that is really the key. And, but I want to ask you about OpenStack. What do you think, from a biz dev standpoint, and market, product marketing standpoint, the success of the OpenStack will be in the big data world? Because at the top of the stack, you have analytics, mobile, and a lot of big data applications. What, what's your take on that part of the stack? You mean from an open stack yeah, point and of what's view? Yeah, what needs to be checked off and what needs to be worked on, the white spaces? Yeah, I mean, there's from a net new analytics and from a Hadoop to open stack kind of configuration, there's a lot of talk about, you know, how does HDFS work with Swift and, you know, am I storing in triplicate? There's a, there's a lot of issues that have to be kind of solved from a nuts and bolts around the storage side of things. Um, not our biggest concern, I think, initially. Initially, we're more focused on kind of making it easy to deploy because it's two groups of people. You know, you have analytics who are business users and you have uh, ops and then you have this infrastructure guys and they don't talk. They, you know, they just kind of like expect each other to work. So we've got to really make it simple for the infrastructure guy. And that's, you know, bringing Hadoop expertise into OpenStack and making it work. I and that's it. what Savannah's all about. I mean, I think you guys have uh, the Marantis guys on next, yeah, right? And so, he's right yeah. there, CEO's yeah. coming on right next. And yeah. we're going to talk about the service. And obviously the managed services side is huge. I got to ask you about HBase. Okay, mm -hmm. um, we're a big fan of HBase. We actually use HBase in some of our code that we use for our collection of data listening tools. Um, but it, one thing about HBase is you, it's you know, like a tailored suit. Once you do it, it fits great, but it's got to get easier. Any yeah. update on you from Hortonworks on HBase easier? Because when you get to a cloud environment, you've got to be versatile. Yeah. Uh, can you comment uh, on that? Yeah, so I mean, you know, the HBase community is, is absolutely moving very fast as well. So there's a lot of things going on in the HBase community to make it simple. And that's from, you know, from the Apache side of the world. I think what we're doing with Savannah just fits very well into that. It goes back to this whole, you know, if you're going to use a piece of Hadoop, you've got to go through all these configurations. How do I make that simple? How do I create, you know, oh, excuse me. How do I create blueprints so I can just knock something out very quickly? And that's the part of the management and monitoring of a Hadoop cluster that's actually super, super important because once you optimize what your HBase environment looks like, how do I actually then you know, take that and replicate that or use that over and over again? And that's blueprints and templates become extremely important for that. And so you know, integrate that within Horizon so that within Horizon you're kicking off you know, the deployment of a cluster. Let's, let's make it simple. So how's Rob Bearden doing these days? Because I want to ask you the question about a uh, question I'd ask him if he was here. Um, the business model of, of Hortonworks, mm -hmm. and you guys obviously are still doing your thing. Um, so I want you to give the update on what's new with Hortonworks as a company. You know, not, not the OpenStack stuff, because we just oh covered boy. that. Uh, and then the red hat for Hadoop has always been kicked around as Cloudera had that label on it, and yeah. then there's been quite a debate. We had Pat Gelsinger on theCUBE two years ago saying there'll never be a red hat for Hadoop. Matt Asay and I got on a little thing on Twitter about, yeah. you know, um, can there be multiple versions? I mean, you know, are, that's, is it a debate? Is it, what's happening? Give us, you know, help us dissect that. You know, I mean, nothing's changed with Hortonworks. I mean, we, are, we have stayed true to our mission from day one. I mean, we are all about fueling and fostering the adoption of Hadoop in the larger enterprise. We don't want to obviate up the stack. We know where we fit. You know, Hadoop is, is part of your overall data architecture of the future. And we know where it fits. And for us, it's making sure that everybody in the world uses Hadoop. And so we are marching down that path. The only difference between 
you know, probably when I talk to you or anybody's talked to you five months ago as, to the, as opposed to today, is the rate at which customers are coming to us and paying customers, Here's not just examples. people using HTTP. Um, I, you know, I, it's it's across every vertical you could think of, John. It's, it's financial services firms, of course, a lot of retail guys, a lot of telecom guys. Um, so I mean, it's just you know, it's it's dozens and dozens of customers. And now. your business model is still service. And it's still services and support. And so you know, we aren't selling software. We aren't building proprietary extensions on top of Hadoop. You know, we're we are pure producers of Hadoop. There's you know, in the open source world, you have packagers and producers. Right, you guys, you have guys who use the open source code and build on top of that. That's the beauty of Apache. We love that, right? And and then there's the pure people who are actually producing. We produce, and so you know, our our game is to make sure that really Hadoop becomes that enterprise viable data platform. And in order to be enterprise viable, it's got to be stable. It's got to be reliable. It's uh, the enterprise has to trust yeah. it. I, you you can't hire all these people to to manage the thing. It's got to be simple. The part of the stuff we're talking about is simplicity, yeah. and that's and, and trust. And and that's what we're all about. So and you guys get some good buzz here. I tweeted that earlier, and um, but Cloudera is not here. Your competitor. Yeah. Um, can you talk about how you guys are competing against Cloudera now? Is it still the same? Can you just give us an update on you know the Hortonworks versus Cloudera? Not that I want to get into a little uh, war there, but you know it's you know you aren't going to gonna bait me into getting saying anything really bad. But I mean you know I mean. It, you know, we love what the Cloudera guys are doing. I mean, they're out there, they're, they're, they're doing the drum beat around Hadoop as well. You know, they've got a lot of guys, really smart guys on the street doing some things. Um, they're doing some great things with a, with a lot of really cool projects out there. Um, do I like competing against somebody? I love competing. You know, it, it just, it, it makes the, the whole market better. And I think they're, they're, a formidable, they're a formidable competitor and they're doing great things. So, you know, we, we, I like to win and, and we win a lot, you know, against them and I'm sure they've won against us, but um, That's a non-answer. Come on, give us a non-answer. <laughs> Come on, give what us an answer. What do you want from me? I mean, you <laughs> know, but they're open source is there too. Is a right? knife fight? We don't. You know, I mean, <laughs> they're not here to defend themselves. So I have to That's defend right. them for you. Uh, there are for a lot them. of guys I like. So I, there's yeah. there's a lot of guys on that team I really like. You know, the funny thing is about an open source community. They've got a lot of committers at Cloudera, right? And we've got a lot of committers at, at Hortonworks. You know, when they all get together at say a Hadoop Summit, you know, coming up in later in June. It's funny, they're all friends. They all talk about their wives yeah. and their kids, and so, you know. We love Cloud Air, too. Level, they all love each other, so. Okay, that's Jim Walker with Hortonworks, Director of Product Marketing here inside theCUBE, Hortonworks. Again, you got Cloud Air and Hortonworks, <laughs> uh, the two main horses in the open, open, open source Hadoop, pure world. Um, thanks for coming on theCUBE, great to be here, and great move. I think OpenStack's a great enterprise addition to your uh, portfolio. Huge. And yeah. I think making this developer community, fusing those together, is, is gives you a leg up on Cloudera, and I think it's a major, uh, major fault for Cloudera not to be here uh, at this event. I think they're missing something <laughs> here, and so um, Cloudera, you know, pay attention <laughs> to OpenStack. Um, we are here at the OpenStack Summit. I'm John Furrier with SiliconANGLE. We'll be right back with our next guest after this short break.